Michael and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, March 12th, 2021 by Gaia Bhumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am the soul of the soul of the universe and my name is love. And before we dig in, I wanted to put a little offering out there. So um, if you watched yesterday's horoscope, I was like, oh, mom stuff may come up. And I was like noticing today, I was like, huh, oh, it's interesting. None of my mom stuff came up. Okay, cool. And then I'm driving and an ambulance goes by and I burst into tears, which is a long story that I'm not going to go into here. And it made me tune into this thing that I, I think about a lot, um, the way we as signs process feelings. And so I want to do a deep dive into feelings. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this as a reading offer it as a as a deep dive reading into how you feel things in your chart or do a class which might be fun like if you want to understand more than just yourself so I would love it if you are interested in doing a deep dive into feelings through astrology it's a lot more than just knowing your moon sign <laughs> um, if you are interested in that send me a message send me an email you know say something in the comments let me know Cause, and let me know as well if you're interested in it as a class or as a individual session. Because I have it, it just came in and I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> so that being said, let's dig in deeply into these feelings that we have going on. We have the moon in Pisces, dark of the moon energy. And dark of the moon is a time when stuff comes up. It's just... It's a time of processing, and it's, it's good. It's a good thing to process. So today, we really have kind of an overall quiet day. So between the sun in Pisces, moon in Pisces, it really is take it easy and flow. In the evening, we have a few connections. We have um, the moon connecting to Venus, and we have the moon connecting to Neptune. And we are also building into, beyond the new moon, um, a conjunction between Venus and Neptune. Now, like I said, the moon, the moon, while it can illuminate things, while it can tune us into our feelings, it can also reveal that which is hidden, and especially as it's in Pisces, and especially as it's in Pisces connecting with this Neptune energy. So I would not be surprised if through the day you had <laughs> varying levels of like, Oh, life is good. I feel like creating. Oh, what is this feeling that's coming through? Let yourself flow and move through these energies that are coming up because it's just part of the processing in the dark of the moon. Now, it is interesting that we're building into this conjunction between Venus and Neptune and we have this moon piece. My feeling is, is that part of this processing that's going on may be connected to, um, past life relationships, not just love, romance relationships, although it might be, but I'm also actually feeling like connection to the universe, relationship with the universe as a very strong piece of this. I'm surprised I don't have the trust card in here. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll call these two cards united a trust card. <laughs> the, the schizophrenia and inner voice cards, when we put them together, it's like, oh, what do I think about this? What do I think about this? Inner peace. <laughs> so this may actually be representative of that. That's kind of the thing, you know, where was I going with this? I have so many downloads coming through. Um, <laughs> getting comfortable with the unknown. That's where I'm going with it. That's where I'm going with my, my uh, made up trust card, right? Pisces is the time where we really do need to trust in the unknown, and especially Pisces time in the dark of the moon. We as humans love to think that we have things figured out, and yet truly, in any given moment, we never really know. Things can change on a dime, for better, for worse, or even like not better or worse, like same playing field, but you know, sharp left turn. Things can change on a dime. Things can change in a second, and I know that can be really scary, and yet, I do have this core belief that I share with you guys that I believe that there is this divine plan and there's this divine unfolding and that we are we are meant to align and be in accordance with our, you know, soul's higher plan. 
And so in this dark of the moon, and as we connect to this, we are being called to sink deeper and deeper into being okay with not knowing. Now, it's not to say, like, can't look at the astro and work with these energies and, you know, okay, well, this is a challenging aspect or this is a really supportive one. Yes, that's definitely here for us. And yet, at the same time, we have to know that the way it shows up could be so many, so many different things, you know? And so sinking deeper into that trust feeling, <laughs> into the unknown, and moving through it, working through it. That being said, <laughs> our work today really is allowing ourselves to move through the day, move through those ups and downs, move through those energies, and yet hold the vision, hold the magic. So we're building, like I said, to the new moon, that's, what is it, 2.21 a.m.? Yeah, 2.21 a.m. Pacific time uh, on Saturday. And the saving symbol, which I'll get into in tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's scope, talks about um, a psychic medium uh, bringing, bringing through a manifestation. And that, to me, is about working on both those levels. And to me, that's the best thing we can do while flowing with the unknown. Work on the spiritual level. That meaning meditation, grounding, doing doing the shadow work, realizing what's really going what's really going on, and being present, being willing to be in the physical, being willing to face what's in the physical, being willing to show up and be in alignment with the actions that you are called to in the physical. Now today we have the sun at twenty two degrees. That is master degree. So this is a mastery process. And Pisces, and Pisces is bringing us deeper into, into the trust portion of this, working with our mental, the schizophrenia card, it's the two of swords, so it's a mental card, and working with that spiritual, the high priestess card, which is also a two, by the way, finding that balance and nurturing that energy in order to support ourselves through and deeper in the unknown, um, but also working deeper in and through our processes. So again, that's where I was going. Ha! Ah, come full circle. Um, our relationship with the universe. We can get mad when things don't go as planned. We can get upset or fearful, and yet the universe has our back. So really working deeper into our relationship with the universe through whatever is on hand for you is definitely a deeper part of the process as we build to this new moon today. But again, the astro may be overall having kind of a quiet feeling. Um, I do want to mention that that mother stuff that I mentioned yesterday, Sarah's and Chiron, they are still working together. So that may be part of the processing. Again, it may be about your mother. It may be about you being a mother. It may be how you mother yourself. There's multiple layers that this could show up, but it's definitely still part of the overall healing process. Maybe, speaking of relationships, maybe it is relationship with mother energy, whether this lifetime or another lifetime. So do be aware of that in and through the energy. But again, keep working with the magic. Keep working with your vision. This energy is as strong as ever, the new vision energy. What is the magic? And can you connect to that even as you face the unknown or face the silence that the void can sometimes bring. You're like, hello, is anybody out there? So, um, but I love this. We have breakthrough, the rebel energy. So we're finding ourselves through this. So I have complete confidence that you're making your way through these fields and deeper into these relationships. Um, I also have the ordinariness card, which is like, hey, there is some work to do. And it's also a reminder that there is good stuff. Even if you're feeling like, hello, where are you? I'm in the void. Uh, I'm not really, not really able to find myself in the trust at this moment. Um, look for the goodness that is surrounding you. So please let me know, are you interested in the class? Are you interested in a session? Are you interested in both? What piques your fancy? Because uh, I would like to put this out there sooner than later because, wow, I'm really feeling it. Um, besides that, you can always book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There is more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.